Let's take this tourniquet down and see did we improve it. This is open left femur, right? First at five, a central Wisconsin hospital preparing for the worst through life-saving training. Good afternoon, I'm Melissa Langben. Thanks so much for joining us. Now, in an emergency, that life-saving training can make all the difference. News 9's Wyatt Williams shows us why. Here at Aspires Walsall, the staff prep for if one of the most grim situations were to become a reality. It's a tough exercise, but a necessary one. While this may look like a chaotic scene, the crew at Aspirus remained in control Thursday while helping their simulated victims and practicing for a massive number of people in need of care. The team must stabilize patients and prepare for the possibility of more. They relied on 37 volunteers, cosmetics, and medical staff to make this mock disaster as real as possible. If you have an increased amount of patients coming into your system, um, that takes a lot more resources above and beyond the day-to-day -day resources. So we need to make sure that we are ready to go at any time. So if there is any event in our community, we can handle it. Following the exercise, the staff grouped together to talk about what worked and what didn't, and how to respond more efficiently to a disaster they hope never happens. They say the training session was a success, and in a world like the one we live in, where mass shootings are a sad reality, they say it pays to be prepared. In Wausau, Wyatt Williams, News 9, WAOW. Thank you.